talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. And also hit the bell icon, the notification button. So when I drop that heat, y'all get notified and y'all can go ahead and watch the video ASAP. Now, the hottest topic in boxing is Canelo Clembuterol Alvarez and Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. And the biggest question is, was it contaminated meat or was it not contaminated meat? Was it contaminated T-bone steak or was it contaminated prime rib? Was it a contaminated New York strip? Who knows? But that's the question. Now, for the casual fans and for the people that's not really in the know, They'll say, okay, well, Canelo Alvarez took some uh, tests after he got tested positive and they came back negative. So, case closed. But the people that are, you know, my hardcores and the people that are familiar with the nutrition slash drug pharmaceutical industry will tell you that it looks like Canelo Alvarez was using clenbuterol and they tested him prior to it cycling out of his system. And they say that the negative tests are null and void. Now, to me personally, G5 Jeff TV seems like the man was cheating and he got caught. The man was cheating and he got caught. That, that's what it seemed like to me. And when it comes down to using performance enhancing drugs, the name of the game is is timing. You use the drug and then it cycles out of your system before the test is taken. So when you take the test, it comes back negative, but your body is still reaping the positive effects of the drug even after it's cycled out of the system. And the reason I know that is because the, ba the famous baseball player, Alex Rodriguez, was doing that in... They had him on recordings asking people, hey, do I take this pill at this time? Do I take this pill at that time? What time do I take this pill? So that's how I know. So do I think Canelo Alvarez cheated? Absolutely. And until a third party actually comes in and clears that man, his new nickname will be Canelo Clembuterol Alvarez. Whoever don't like it. You ain't got to listen. Point blank. But I hate cheaters. I hate cheaters. Now, should Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G2 happen? Now, when I first found out that Canelo got popped for a dirty test, I instantly made a, a video, no thought about it. And I said Canelo should be suspended and the fight should be off. I stand by that. I stand by that. I didn't say that out of emotion. I didn't say that because I just found out and I didn't have time to think and that was the hot topic. No, I meant every word I said. Not saying that they should never fight again. I'm just saying the fight should be off right now and the man should serve a suspension because he cheated. And this puts Triple G in a tight spot because if you're going into the ring with a, a person that's, that done got popped for cheating, that's dangerous. It's dangerous. I don't care how dangerous Triple G is. It's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? The only way I would say these two should fight is let Triple G use Clembuterol too and then let them just go in the ring. Let it be an even playing field. If, if Canelo Alvarez is using Clembuterol, let Triple G use that shit too. You know what I'm saying? But if it's not that, then Canelo should be suspended. And the fight should be off. Point blank, period. Now, when it comes down to it, if this fight is canceled, 
And the only way you know the suspension is actually real with Canelo Alvarez is unless they start refunding tickets and stop selling tickets for the fight. But if they're still selling tickets for the fight, then you know the suspension is not real. That's just point blank, period. Now, me personally, what I think should happen is there is a fight available. And there's Triple G, Billy Joe Saunders for all the marbles at 160 pounds. Now, Triple G stated initially that he wanted to fight for unification. He wanted unification. Give me my belt. He wanted unification. And ever since Canelo came along, he stopped talking about unification. He already got the one Canelo fight. He already got that payday. Canelo Alvarez, that fight going to be there. It just can't be there right now. So I think Triple G should fight Billy Joe Saunders for all of the marbles at 160 pounds. And if he wins that fight, now don't get me wrong, that's a bad style matchup for Triple G. That's a bad style matchup for Triple G against Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders is just one of those type guys that you it's hard for you to look good against him. You know, Billy Joe Saunders is really good. Bad matchup for Triple G. But if Triple G wins that fight, imagine if he wins that fight with Billy Joe Saunders. He is the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. And Canelo is going to want some get back after all of this controversy. And the fact that most of the people were saying that he lost the first fight. So now you're able to go into negotiations with Canelo Alvarez you have all of the belts. You have all of the clout. You have the public behind you. Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya can't muscle you around when it comes down to the negotiating table. But see, I don't know if K2 Promotions is smart enough to even contemplate what I'm saying. Even if they want to steal my idea, that's cool. I have no problem with that. But they should unify with Billy Joe Saunders right now. Get out of this fight with Canelo Alvarez and go get that final belt and then go back to the table. Let Canelo serve his suspension. Then go back to the table with all of the belts. And you got all of the clout. You got all of the public behind you. Now you're the good guy and Canelo was the enemy. You're going to be able to get a better split. You're going you're gonna to be able to get more money from out of Canelo Alvarez for that rematch. And once that rematch is reset, you're guaranteed to get a third fight. No matter who the winner is, if Triple G is the winner, then I guarantee you it's going to be close on the cards because Canelo got something with these judges too. And if Canelo wins, it's probably going to be controversial. So either way, you're going to get two more cracks at Canelo. Why not go after Billy Joe Saunders first? And go, go unify. Yes, you're taking a risk. Yes, you're taking a chance. Yes, there's a there's a chance you could lose that fight. There's a chance you could lose that fight. But at the end of the day, you got to take chances to be great. You have to take chances to be great. Make that Triple G and Billy Joe Saunders fight happen. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.